Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Undungeon with Minotaurus PLT. So we've got uh, something up here. What is this? This is the, the beta pier, I think, right? I have to untether it? There's a man up there. Excuse me, man. There are several people. Okay, well, let's... You know what? Let's do this first. Look. I dug into the communications network again and found the address of a farmer. Although she hasn't been active lately, I... Uh. Oh, I'll send you the coordinates anyway. Fattest farm. That's the farmer where the core is. Yeah, but we already found it. <laughs> I don't need to. So, are you guys gonna, like, sell me cool shit? Pandora fruit. Wait, didn't I already talk to you before? Yeah, this is a damn car. We already talked to you. Yeah, I don't need you. So is there is this actually like is there a hard limit on the shit we can carry? What about you? Are you another merchant? The being's core is tangible, almost like the core of a herald. The being doesn't seem old, but it emits antiquity. One of the being's hands holds an elongated chalice. Thick stem from aromatic oil. Er, Thick steam from aromatic oils swirl inside the chalice, and the being inhales it deeply, then looks at you while ex uh, exhaling. Where are you? Ahem. Clouds of vapor billow from the being's breathing sacks, and he tries to cough it up, uh, uh, up, cough it up and wave the clouds away simultaneously. You, you are a herald of the void, aren't you? Yes. I never dared hope to meet a herald again in my lifetime. I thought the heat and the herbs were playing tricks on my old mind. Hmm. The being inhales deeply and speaks as he exhales slowly. My name is Almadun, son of Almadan, the oldest Kalahari who ever lived. Uh, may his soul find its path to the creator. He perished along with Archibon. My greetings. My father served the heralds in Archibon. He created the threads that bound the place of uh, Kshat Kshatra and the first worlds of Aure. Sadly, the shift destroyed everything and all of our hard work fell into the abyss. You know what you're, I know what you're up to, Harold. You want to take the mass of this and the other dimensions to create a new reality around the hub core. I knew this would happen. I hope this day would come and I'm prepared to help you. How can you be of use? Even the Keeper, gifted as she is, can't provide you with all the sutras you need to save the mortal souls. Uh, and not all primordial matter can be detected by the scanner. I've worked hard to build trade goods in worlds like this. Go on. So wait, so it was you who created the Nomad's Trade Guild? Well, let, I'm just going to tell them to go on. Uh, I, can uh, I can procure sutras and primordial matter left from the time uh, from the time of Archibon of the Heralds. I need essence to sustain myself and buy the wares we're interested in from, uh, from resellers. Traders don't do anything for free. The Kalahari laughs and inhales the steam from his chalice. Neither do you, am I right? What do you want in return? What do I want? What can someone who has everything he needs in his, uh, in his dying reality want in return? I just want to make it into the new reality. I can teach and trade with those that will, be in, uh, that will inhabit it. I will exchange any artifacts you find without subcharges or uh, surcharges, but you'll still need rivers of essence to obtain them. Even the nomad uh, raiders understand the value of sutras or shards of creation, and will demand you pay full price for them. We have a deal. I have some questions for you. We know about shift. Tell me about your people. Tell me about your guild. Can you get Arctech? Absolutely, every uh, everyone who ever worked with Arctech lived in Archibon. The peer cores are Architech, but as you can see, there are few experts on them around here. I did hear that one blacksmith managed to survive. I'll make inquiries. Thank you. Uh, I have other questions. Can you tell me about the shift? What do you want to know about the shift? The being thoroughly inhales the steam from his chalice. <sighs> uh, his core ignites invisibly and... In Okay. Uh, invisibly starts rotating powerful vibrations uh, surrounding his shell. His voice begins to sound prophetic, as if the memories were carved on the pillars of creation. The dimensions were once hollow spheres on the inner surface of the world matrices where uh, were core-powered piers that connected many planets all across the universe. The core of creation provided the gods who settled the dimensions with the mass to create new worlds, and the energy and knowledge to grow and control these lands. 
but the cores were br uh, the core was brutally thrown out of balance, and the col uh, and it collapsed into its own center, forming an abyss under it. The shift is pulling the shards of the worlds deeper and deeper, warping their laws into stagnation. Who unbalanced the core? That is something I do not know. Only now does Almad Almadun exhale the, exhale the steam, his voice once again taking on its ordinarily warm tone. The shift has warped the laws of reality. It has torn the planets apart, causing them to slowly decompose along with the laws of the universe. And the dimensional matrices are falling into the abyss from the mass of the gods inhabiting them. With only the sutras leading from uh, leading from the core of creation to the hub's core binding them in, uh, to reality, this is the thread the Keeper is pulling. Thank you, I have more quid. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, back. Show me your wares. Holy fuck, dude. Um, ooh. <laughs> uh. I would like to sell you many things here. Okay. Wait, we can just auto? Deal. Sick. Alright, let's, uh... Use up our essence here. Oops. What? Oh no, I used the wrong thing. Fuck. Ah. <sighs> Damn it. One. Whoops. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Okay. Now, let's replace that with this. Because we don't want to use up big-ass healing items, you know? Okay. Level, level, level. We only got two out of that, huh? Well, we got some red, so I might as well get the red thing. What the hell is this? Yeah, let's do that. I, I guess that works. So that's 3% more to attack. That's pretty cool. Cool, cool. All right. And you add just a bunch of garbage? Yeah, you had the you had the usables, right? Um, and since none of them were like, repair your busted shit, I'm just going to leave. Get out of here. Okay, so, I mean, okay, I, I guess we got to go... Visit you. How many days? It's like one point something. Is that what that says? I don't know why that wild dog den still has a question mark. I, I figure we might as well just do the quests in, in order, you know? Got a pretty good haul. Lots of new things. I think you'll be able to pick out something. Okay. So, uh, I guess the, the, the nomads have gotten a new thing for us. Whoa! What am I breaking? I don't know. Fan goods. When you touch a fan good seed, you spend one essence to try and fertilize it. If you're successful, it will start growing fruit, which you can collect after some time to use a medicine or explosive. Wait, am I spending essence right now? Is that what's happening? Yes. Okay. Okay, so there's, there's stuff here for us, I guess? So we got a corrupted fan good? Where the hell that means? 
I mean, you know I'm going to break all your shit. Like, I don't know if you know this about Heralds, but that's just what they got to do, man. We got to break your shit. Okay? Sour fan good. All right, what's up with you? All right, you're the you're the, the farmer, right? As you approach, the being hunches his shoulders and freezes, as though he thinks that would uh, hide him from view. Well, since there's no one here, I'll be on my way. I see you. How how can I help you, to traveler? I am a simple farmer, and I cannot imagine what brought you to my doorstep. Have you seen any big gold spheres in the wastelands? No, I haven't seen any golden spheres in, uh, around here. Just rocks and sand and a little dog shit, but uh, not even enough to fertilize a garden. Oh, excuse me. Being presses a hand to his mouth uh, hold, uh, to the mouth hole of his mask. I don't think anything gold would last uh, even a minute laying around here. It's the kind of place where they'd uh, steal the chamber pot out of uh, from under you so fast you wouldn't even notice. Nothing but bandits and thieves. Practically no honest nomads left. Oi, Traveler, let me treat you to a sweet tuber and tell you my story. Please do me the honor of being my guest. The nomad puts a clay plate with his offerings on it in front of you, then shifts from one foot to the other and waves his hand strangely, waiting for your uh, your reaction. Uh, except the gifts, I guess. All right. I am Fade, a farmer from the uh, Madzenta tribe, but this wasn't always the case. I used to wander the wastelands with my clan, and we saw many things. In sandstorm season, we would set up camp between the cliffs, and in times of drought, we would lay low in vinegrun pits, uh, or vinegrun pits, or track wild gro uh, go goovers to the edge of the world matrix. Get Go on. We survived many attacks by both bandits and wild beasts and lost experienced people each time. Soon our group was unable to provide, uh, provide ourselves with food and water, and we went our separate ways. I decided to work the land. I don't consider it my calling, but it's better than risking my life on a hunt or collecting plant pulp under the beating ultraviolet rays for dry bread and a little water. Get to the point, please. I need special fertilizer to make this soil fertile. I have good, a, a good friend, a farmer who lives right here. Get coordinates. And he promised to lend me some. I don't have a communication device, and I've had no news of him for a long time now. It's dangerous for a weakling like me to travel such a long distance, but you look very strong. If you find yourself in those parts, could you pay my friend a visit and remind him he promised me fertilizer? Sure. Thank you so much. If he's not around, you can just take the fertilizer. It's in his backyard, the yellow containers. He'll think, uh, he'll think it was me who came by. Okay. And now he's all oo-woo. Great. Wonderful. So wait, these look like those weird plants that I should be able to harvest stuff from, but I apparently cannot. You know I gotta get all the bits out of here, right? Because also, like chests, sometimes, you know, they appear in these places. We got Mechanical Claws. Vulture Mask. Press B to perform a short, quick dash. Disintegration Device. Okay. There's a body of a Nomad Hunter. It's been lying here for several days. Talk to the farmer about the corpse in the garden. Uh, so, first off... Um, oh, we already equipped the, the mask. Okay. So, plus, X, uh, plus HP, 1% chance to summon an ally when breaking consumables. And if we hold, cost 1 energy, makes the wearer invisible, and grants a movement speed bonus for a short time. After the dash, it increases movement speed for a short time. Okay. Alright, I, I want to break up this fence just to get all the bits. What's up, brother? Whose body did I find in your garden? Nomad nervously adjusts the sensor frame of, on his mask. Oh, you mean that bandit chief? He was bleeding out when he showed up and uh, then just fell over dead in the bushes. The poor guy. I was afraid to go near him. Uh, what is? Uh, what if he was infected? And the dead can't raise on, or rise on their own if there's no mo uh, movement nearby. What? Let's see. 
find out what the farmer is hiding. Can I go in your house? No. Wait a minute. An unexpected twist. I feel like there's something fate isn't telling me. I should take some time to straighten uh, things out here. Who knows, maybe it will help me in the future somehow. If I straighten things out, do you mean destroy everything in sight? Something here. So what, what would I interact with? And this is close to the edge. Hmm. Wait, my man's got masks. Amplifiers, grenades, masks. Chance for double loot. Liquidator's visor. Wait, uh, perform a controlled dash, or controllable dash, that leaves a chain of mines behind. The mines explode when, when approached. Um, okay. Hmm. Well, my dude, I don't know what to, what to say to you, so, um, like, I don't know how I would discover more about your shit. Hmm. Wait, I heard a crunch. Oh, there's a fence, that's why. I mean, this has blood on it, dude. Like, why am I not interested in this? Can I... Hmm. Is there anything else down here that I can look at? Like, how do we... Because it says maybe I should look around and straighten things out, but, like, how how do? Mr. Farmerman. Sir. This just seems sus as hell. Hmm. It's not telling me where to go here. Find out what the farmer is hiding. How would I do that? Because I can't, I, like, apparently I'm not able to go into your house. Can I drive this shit? Like, what is all this? I mean, it seems like there should be, like, a dog or something around here, because you got, like, dog stuff, it seems. Um. That was that. Oh, there's more fruits! Did, wait, were there more fruities up here? Like, maybe I have to get all the fruit to do the thing? Acid fang good. Okay. You got more for me, buddy? Come on. Sour fang good. Come on. Gimme. Gimme, 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 gimme. You can do it. I have faith in you. Thanks. Hmm. I mean, this dude is, like, ripped in half. This It just seems... very sus. I, I, I don't know what else I can do here, dude. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe it's when I go to get the uh, the fertilizer. You know what? That, that, that's that's my guess. When I go to get the fertilizer, then a man's like the, his friend is going to be like, "This guy's a piece of shit." <laughs> so actually, let's um. Oh, for fuck's sake! All right. So I, if I can't look at that, and by look at that, I mean uh, if I can't like look at my uh, my quests while I'm here. Let's see, helping the farmer. Track this quest, please. Oh my god. Fine. <laughs> god damn it, dude. What the hell's that? Wait, what the fuck is that? What is what is this? Small layer, you are being attacked. Get ready to fight for your life. Fight. What the hell? <laughs> okay, so there are random encounters, it seems. Uh, what am I being attacked? Ah! Direct. Give me your goods. Primitive brain. Oh, hello. Get ruined. So wait, are not all of you giving me essence? Do I only get essence from some of you? Because I'm noticing my essence is not increasing. Breaking these things is giving me essence, though. It's giving me one singular essence. Okay, I think I got essence out of those uh, those enemies. So it, it seems it maybe somewhat random, perhaps. Yeah, give me some give me some pulp and such. Can I break you? I can. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna get ruined. I'm gonna take that as a yes, since he came over here. Oh, small layer. I mean, like, come on. You know I gotta. What the hell? Okay, there's skulls on the map. So that's uh, a little scary. Um, I, uh, there are pits with uh, wrapped bodies. Uh, excuse me. I forgot that's what that does. Pog. Dude, we leveled. Let's go. Whoops. Uh... Um, wait, wait. What? So we already... Oh, right, we, we unlocked a greenie. Okay, so let's, um... What the hell? Ah! Why can't I get to the things, dude? There we go. Yeah, unlock the yellow one, sure. Can I put these in, like... Okay, nope. <laughs> I thought maybe I could put them in, like, uh, you know, pl other places. But I guess that's not the case. Like, maybe they were kind of generic and they can go anywhere, but no. Nah. No. 
Get out of here. Excuse you. Yeah, get ruined. Ah! Listen, shooty lord. Get out of here. That's right. Get the hell out of here, man. Plasma gland. Dude, if I had a gland that could shoot plasma, that'd be sick. <laughs> It'd also probably suck real bad. What the hell's going on here? Are y'all just dead? So did these people all just get eaten by the, the whip scorpions? Is that what happened? Alright, so what are these skulls? <laughs> I, I feel a great desire to find out. That's a, uh, that's a big ass hole right there. Shut up, phone! Oh, wait, are these spawns? They're spawners? They are, they're spawners. Where's the other one? I thought there was another one. Is there not? Am I crazy? I killed them all. Ah! Okay, can I have some of my stuff back? Oh, I can't. I already used up all my bits. I would love to have some more of that, uh, whatever it's called, the energy back. We got a stamina thing. Cool. Alright, so apparently there is a chest around here somewhere. I thought we got those back for killing enemies. Maybe not. Request data key. Well, I have one, so pog. Spirit spark. Bronze coins. Shard of foundation. Cool. Let's get the hell out of here. So I'm wondering if those uh, that layer shows up and then like just spawns whip scorpions everywhere, which I'm gonna keep calling them that because that's exactly what they are. Like v v vinegaroons are, you know, like I said before, it's just another name for a whip scorpion. I, I gotta say, man, I'm digging this game so far. It's it, like I don't really understand a lot of what a lot of these <laughs> NPCs are saying. But, like, it, my, my estimation is that we're destroying, or we're, we're collecting matter from the from these worlds to then convert into, uh, you know, more, oh, shit. Uh, to convert into a new reality, kind of, you know? Give me that. I would like to get... So, the the farmer's buddy is up this way, huh? Ow. Sprinter legs. Faster, faster, faster. Recipe added to biomat. Use the biomat to create an organ. Okay. So, did we... Echotron? Folk medicine. What? <laughs> uh... What? So, I don't understand why we're getting these, uh... These patterns. Ah! Fermented Vinegaroon meat. Talk to Ian about unusual meat. Oh boy. Okay, well that didn't do as much as I was hoping, but what? Oh fuck. Um, I'm sorry, what's going on? 
Oh, we have to replace a broken thing, huh? What? Sure. That works. Press X to replace broken item. What? No, I wanted... This guy. No. Fucking shit. What are you what are you doing? We're already done here. Whoops. I gotta say, I kinda feel like that interface could use a little bit of work. Can I have the, the pieces? No? Alright. <laughs> I just kind of wanted to take the, the pieces that I got for... Alright, well... <laughs> I guess we'll just deal for now. Oh, Christ. I do feel like there are some aspects of this game that could be a little better communicated. Um, like the whole shield thing, I'm not fully, I'm not really sure that I fully understand what's going on with that. Um, I mean, like I understand enemy has shield, that's not good, but I, I'm not sure when they actually have them or if we've even encountered an enemy that has a shield yet. I don't know. No. Fire Eye. The eye burns with otherworldly fire and exudes a strange heat. So we earned another thing for the biomat, I guess. Ow. I hate it. I hate it so bad. I hate this man. Oh wait, does that mean he has a shield over him? Is that what that little blue hoobus was? Here, get ruined. No shield for you. Get out of here. Fuck. What the hell just happened? Uh, get wrecked. <laughs> okay. All right. Now what? If we were going to get fertilizer up here, and then we were distracted by dogs and men attacking us. Fermented vinegar and meat. Okay. Now we have a quest to go and talk to. A dude about that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. But, no, sure. I kind of wish there was a way to take those back after you accidentally deploy them. Please die. Okay. Make it to the meeting between the strangers and the nomads. Find Fade's friend and pick up the fertilizer. Bring the fertilizer to Fade. Wait, make it to the meeting before the... What? Ritual dagger. I'm getting... Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff that gives us plus damage with knives, so... Probably not a bad idea. Someone shady came by today, and I think he was following. Oh, hang on, what? Someone shady came by today, and I think he was following me. He looked over, or he looked all over our farm, asked me about fertilizer. Go with the others and meet the strangers to pick up the product. I'll keep a uh, watch over the warehouse in case the, uh, he comes back. The strangers said they'd be camped here for four days. Wild dog den. That's why it was a question mark. Okay. All right. All right, folks, so that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all did enjoy it, and if you did, you know what to do. Uh, that is me for me, Notorious BLT. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.